would you please drive me home? I'm warning you, I can get sick in cars, so please drive carefully. Absolutely, hop in. What does the word carefully mean? Thank you so much. You're adorable. No, thank you for flying the friendtastic skies in Test Drive Unlimited two miles high and falling. The modern safety features in these cars is remarkable. Remember the old days when they would explode into flames? Not here, not now. They're bulletproof, but like Frogger can still be destroyed by water. The title may have been compressed to the shorter TDU2, but make no mistake, this is twice the game. Two times the area and challenges more than the original Test Drive Unlimited, and it feels like it. So big they had to split it up into multiple islands. It's easy to lose your cars, so remember where you parked. Seriously, it took me like a half hour to drive from just one side of the island to the other, as fast as I could. But what if you missed the original Test Drive Unlimited? What's the big deal? Well, it's a really cool game, and this second one is more of the same, but with a heavy emphasis on the word more. It's a combination open world exploration game mixed with a fun arcade simulation racer. So think Gran Turismo 5 meets Grand Theft Auto San Andreas with less shooting. Who will win today? The bets are There's on. a much, much heavier emphasis on off-road driving in TDU2 than the previous one. There's hundreds of races that take place all over the environments in this game, Hawaii and Ibiza. And that's not even including the multiplayer challenges. And, of course, there's the cars, a lot of them. Brands like Ferrari, Audi, Bugatti, Nissan, Ascari. Plenty to collect and keep you busy. You also have to purchase properties that come with garages to keep your cars. So, like many racing games, it will take you several hours to really get into the heart of the game and earn enough money to start a true collection. And once you buy your cars, you compete in races, which you win and unlock new races and new challenges and so forth. Basically, the game can take you forever, but the variety of races and challenges keeps it interesting. As you can see, there's multiple camera perspectives to choose from as you're driving, and there are cockpit views for each of the vehicles. Although, I have to admit, it's not the best cockpit view racing game. Something about the way the camera worked in the cockpit view perspective didn't really do it for me. I found this game was generally smoother and more fun to play in true video game fashion with the camera pulled back behind the car. It was far easier to enjoy the environment and soak up the sun that way, or at least the rain. Fun driving, though, no matter what perspective you choose, Test Drive Unlimited 2 is awesome. It really is. I'm breaking this review into two parts because I want to show you the variety of stuff that's in this game. And even then, I'm just scratching the surface. And I hate to break it to the other racers, but this is my event. I hope you like the look of my tail light. It's nice to see that the ultra cheesy cutscenes have returned. It wouldn't be Test Drive Unlimited without them. A ridiculous storyline and characters so unlikable that you'd like to punch them out with a brick. Or at least run over them. But you can't do that in this game. And you, and you know, that's my only real complaint with Test Drive Unlimited. Not specifically that you can't back over these people, although that's part of it. But because this is like the Omega Man, you're exploring this beautiful world with no human beings anywhere. It's particularly noticeable when you're racing through towns. Where the hell is everyone? Did a neutron bomb go off when I wasn't paying attention? Sure, there's cars all over the place, and traffic is part of what makes Test Drive Unlimited cool, because it definitely spices up the racing events where you have to dodge cars. 
But after a while, this game feels eerie. Like you're the last human being alive and all of the other cars are driving themselves. Now, sure, this is a massively multiplayer online game where if you choose to, you can play open to the world and see other people driving around and challenge them. But at times that was jerky and not everyone's into that. So to the designer's credit, if you want to explore on your own and just dig the environment, they give you more things to do than just drive in circles. For instance, if you drive like a maniac, as I'm doing here, you earn money by chaining close calls, drifting, and jumping. There's also hidden wrecked cars everywhere that you can find. As well as the constant thrill and challenge of just seeing where you can drive in TDU2. So I'll see you back here in the second part of the TDU2 review.